a most recent example of impactful women has emerged in India, where the women of a small community of Shaheen Bagh in New Delhi have become the face of resistance against the steep rise of fascism in India. Since the present hardline Modi government came to power, a Nazi model of hate has been emerged in India, resulting in irrelevance of democratic pluralistic values of which the Republic of India was founded. Mob lynching of Muslims, Christians, and, and lower caste Hindus called Dalits happened in the broad daylight. Crime against women is all time high, about 90 rates occurring per day in India. Recent and the recent Citizenship Act, CAA, which is the Indian version of Nuremberg Laws of Nazis Germany, is the most recent example of Modi's government of fascist workflow. <laughs> According to this law, the Indian citizenship will be based on religion. And that clearly violates the secular principles that prohibits discrimination by state on the basis of religion, race, caste, sex, or place of birth. And this law, along with the other law that Modi government is implementing, will make millions of Muslims who are citizens and whose ancestors were citizens of India to become stateless. Many people perceive these laws as a precursor to the actual genocide or ethnic cleansing. Thousands of Shaheen Bagh women are holding peaceful, sit and style of protest against this discriminatory and unconstitutional law. They know that law is unfair. Therefore, they came out on the street for more than a month. They are about 24-7 sit-in. Many haven't gone back to the home. Dozen, despite freezing cold, these women are defiant. Dozens have been killed. Hundreds have been injured in the peaceful protest by, by, by peaceful protest by police brutality and excessive use for the force. But these women have no fear. These women have came to fight the future. They have they are willing to suffer for their independence. Their passion for justice is keeping them there. The Shahin Bagh women, protesters seem unstoppable in the resolve to defeat the fascism and save Indian democracy from those who ironically claim to be the saviors of Indian pride. They have become the voice of millions of women in India and their model has been replicated all over India with thousands more inspired to hold peaceful sit in protest. These women protesters are confident of victory. They are confident their voice will be heard. The message of these women are clear, bold, the style is unique, no fascism, no hate, peace and respect for all. These are undoubtedly impactful women leading a revolution in Indian subcontinent. Long live their courage and long live their resolve. As MLK said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Thank you.